The next movie I'm going to do a mini review on for 31 Days Challenge is All Cheerleaders Die. All Cheerleaders Die came out of 2000. Well, I see 2013 and 2014. I'm going to say 2013. And it was okay. You know, it was all right. It was about these cheerleaders who die. And then this, um, this is a spoiler right here, but <laughs> this um, girl who dabbles in magic stuff. Um, these cheerleaders die and she brings them back and then they get real hungry and they kind of hang out and, the, and basically there's this interplay, these relationships where, um, you know, some of them just want to eat people. Some of them want to kind of, um, live out some of the things that they wanted to, you know, while they were alive, that kind of thing, goals. And, um... Anyway, it's interesting. It's interesting, and I, I didn't dislike it at all, but we had just seen May. We basically watched May, and then we watched All Cheerleaders Die, um, both by Luck Mickey, and May is just so special that it was kind of a, a little bit of a come down, not a let down, but a come down <laughs> to watch this film. It was kind of like you know, if you eat this amazing gourmet meal that like four course with all these wonderful, you know, like, let's say you have this pasta with this fresh garlic and butter and cream sauce or something, you know, something that you might like, like you imagine this, um, you know, all like delicious and whatever. And then you have like macaroni and cheese after. Now, I'm not saying I don't like macaroni and cheese, and a good macaroni and cheese can be good, right? But after having, like, a gourmet meal, you don't want to eat macaroni and cheese. It's just, well, you're full, right? So, um, anyway, it, it kind of felt like that watching this one. Um, I might watch it again at another point and see how it hits me then, um, but it was not as special as May. <laughs> it was not as, I, I want to say charming, but May isn't charming. I mean, it's disgusting, but, um, I don't know. There's something about that movie and something about that character. Um, All Cheerleaders Die, I found out, was a remake of an earlier film that Lucky Mickey made with the co-director and writer Chris Sivertson. So that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, this does seem like something that if you want to make an indie film that's not too expensive, but kind of, <clears throat> you know, kind of got something going on and kind of complex, but not too complex to actually make, you might make a story like this. And I could really see that. And um, especially if you made it really low budget and you wanted there to be, you know, a better look, a better feel. I could see them redoing it. So that makes sense that it's not of the same vein as May because it was a story that came out earlier, was something that they did um, early on in their careers. So <clears throat> that does make sense. Um, it's an interesting film. It's, um, yeah, it's interesting, but it's not something like amazing or anything like that. Um, the performances were pretty good. There's nothing I can really point at as a criticism. I mean, it was fairly simple, but it should be. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I could say is watching it after May kind of was weird. It just wasn't quite right. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm looking for the 2001 version, but I can't find it. And if anyone has a place I can watch that or knows how I can access it, let me know. Thanks. Oh, I'm not sure what movie we're going to see next because we wanted to see the 2001 All Cheerleaders Die and I can't find it. So anyway, thanks.